What's going on everybody? Friday the 14th here for you for the Triple Flix Mafia channel and it is time for an update. It's been a little bit. I've got a bunch of shit. Uh, probably one of the biggest updates I've done in a very, very long time. Got a lot of movies here, uh, a couple TV shows, uh, got a couple figures um, that I've picked up here recently that are primo uh, good shit, um, and also some Jordans that I've picked up. So this video is going to have a little bit of it all. It's probably going to be a longer video because like I said, there's a bunch of shit to get through here. So let's quit dilly dally along. And get right into this update. We're going to start off with the movies and we'll go to the figures, all that shit. So, yeah, here we go. All right, first off, got a couple TV shows here. Uh, pick these up because, especially this show right here, it's going off of Netflix at the end of the year. Uh, this is me and Melissa's favorite show to watch. Uh, it's probably my favorite sitcom ever. Uh, watched through the series probably four or five times. It's something that we throw on the TV when we're falling asleep and all that. But first thing is, picked up the Office Complete Collection. Got the DVD of it. I mean, it's like $50 at Walmart right now. And like I said, this is going off of Netflix and going on to the Peacock Network. So definitely had to pick these up. I never, There's a ton of special features on here. Lots of deleted scenes, all that good stuff. Some commentaries, blooper reels that you've never seen, but... Real excited to have this. I won't be getting the Peacock Network, and since it's going off of Netflix, this one, this will be one that's just constantly put in the DVD player or the Blu-ray player, just as background or anything like that. Because it is, my opinion, one of the greatest shows ever made. Michael Scott is one of the greatest characters ever made. Uh, Dwight, Jim. I mean, it's just this show is absolutely amazing. It never gets old. Uh, the last, I'd say the last two to three seasons, and the last two seasons are not my favorite, but everything up until then is absolutely comedy gold. I can't recommend this show. If you've never seen this show, I don't know what the hell you're doing, but definitely had to pick this one up. And then found this at uh, Great Escape for about half, it was like $25, and I think it's at Walmart for like 50 or a little bit more, and that's How I Met Your Mother, the complete series. This is another one. I mean, it's not up there with The Office, but me and Melissa watch this one constantly too. I mainly pick this up for her. This is, I think, this and The Office are her two favorite shows, other than Grey's Anatomy, which I don't watch that shit. But to have these, I think this is going off of Hulu at the end of the year as well, because uh, I believe this. I don't even know what what station this came on. But How I Met Your Mother, Barney Stinson is a great character as well on TV, but. Just had to pick this one up, too. Uh, I believe it's this. I'm not sure who put this, this out. It's probably Mill Creek, but the, the packaging and everything is not the best. I mean, it's just stacked DVDs on top of each other, but uh, there's nine seasons of this. So it's another one that they just pop in all the time to watch. Love this show. Uh, it's they, I need to find Parks and Rec because I'm a big fan or we're big fans of Parks and Rec as well. And I don't know if they have a complete set out there for that as well. But if they do, I'll find it. And I'll eventually pick it up. All right, got a couple uh, DVD comedies here. Uh, I've never had this in the collection before, and that's a little big league. Just It's baseball season. Finally, it's here, uh, even though they're playing in front of cardboard cutouts and all that. But this was $2 at Great Escape. Uh, need to find... Uh, rookie of the year at some point but just grew up watching this one uh little kid becomes the manager of the minnesota twins after his grandfather passes away but good time uh i forget what the pitcher's name is he has the big chew and he wraps it up with bubble gum just just a fun movie from my childhood it's got that fancy look at that fancy snapper case to it oh um, yep there goes it shut but a little big league you know, if you're my age or or a little bit younger, you know about that one, just a good time. And one that I haven't, I realized that I didn't have in my collection, which I should be ashamed of, and that's Grandma's Boy. I wish this would get a Blu-ray release, but it doesn't. But this movie is amazing. Uh, hysterical. Nick Swartzen is probably the best character in this movie. Uh, but just, just one of those stoner flicks that's just comedy gold. I love this movie. We were talking about it 
I think the other day about watching it and I got to looking to see if I had it and I didn't. So picked this up while we were up in Gatlinburg. All right, getting into the Blu-rays that's non-horror related. Uh, first one, without a slip, uh, I'm ashamed, uh, Chad will probably hate on me for this, but I didn't have this in my collection and now I do. I didn't get it for the second movie in this, but I got it for Uncle Buck. Uh, I think this was like $5. I picked it up at a uh, game exchange up in uh, Cookville. Um, I've seen Uncle Buck before, just a classic, but I didn't have it in my collection. So, Chad, I have it now. Uh, don't don't shame on me, but a John Hughes classic. I've never seen Fletch, though, so I don't know anything about that one. Next up, uh, used to have the still book of this, but uh, I'm just not in the still books anymore, so picked up Wolf of Wall Street on with the slipcover. Great Martin Scorsese movie. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was amazing in that. And then one movie that I'm so happy finally got released on Blu-ray. Next, we need eight seconds on Blu-ray because I think, I, I, yeah, I have the snapper case of that one as well. I'm looking at it right now. But that's Urban Cowboy with John Travolta. One of the greatest soundtracks ever, especially as a, I'm a country, old school country music fan. And this soundtrack is absolutely amazing, this movie. And I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, just uh, everything around it, the story. I'm not a huge John Travolta fan, but in this one, I really, really dig it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it, it, it take I, like I have some on my on my route. I have some honky tonks and stuff like that, and it just I don't know. I've just always liked this movie, but it's it's a classic for me. All right, next up uh, are two Netflix uh, original movies that I picked up uh, off of StinkyTuna.com. If you have never heard of that website, definitely go check it out. He or the company, they they have quite a few Netflix licenses that, that they put out on Blu-ray. And I put all these in to check the picture quality. They look great, sound great. Uh, first one was a big fan of this movie when we first watched it, Triple Frontier. The cast is amazing. The story, the action scenes are great in it as well. Uh, like I said, the picture quality is great on it. It sounds awesome. Uh, just one that I had to get a physical copy of. And the next one is Extraction really really enjoyed this one movie it's action freaking packed um what's his name uh chris hemsworth i would love to see him in more roles like this other than like your thor and marvel movies uh he was really good in this the car chase scene is absolutely amazing the gunfights are really good um i really enjoyed this movie i highly recommend it if you don't want to get a physical copy of it check it out on netflix it's it's worth it it's it's a good watch. I really enjoyed that one. Next up, we got some slipcover action movies, or yeah, action movies is what I'll call them. First up, I've heard decent things about this one. I haven't had time to check it out yet, but it, I got it for super cheap out at uh, McKay's. Let's see if no, I took the price tags off of it. It was under $10, but that's Guns Akimbo. Uh, I believe this version actually came from Walmart because it doesn't show the guns coming off his hands. Uh, I know there's two different slipcovers out there. There's ones with like I said, guns on his hand and then ones with it out. So I'm assuming this one came from Walmart. But like I said, it's I've heard it's almost like Hobo with a Shotgun. and Probably not Hobo with a Shotgun-esque, but it's kind of gritty, action-packed. So I picked it up. It was cheap. Next up, I've been watching this one get a 4K release now that I've picked it back up. But I, originally, I think I had the steel book to this a long, long time ago. But it's one of my favorite Denzel Washington movies, and that's the book of Eli. I love the tone, um, the the color palette to this color palette. Listen to me talking all fancy. The color palette to this uh, movie, it's really good. Gary Oldman, Denzel's freaking awesome in it. Great action movie. Uh, hopefully you've seen it. If you haven't, check it out. Uh, found Blade Runner 2049 with the slip. Sold the steel book for a pretty good amount of money. Like I said, I've hardly got any steel books left. I've been making a killing off of those off of eBay, but... I had to repick this one up. This movie is absolutely amazing. The score by Hans Zimmer is fantastic. Uh, I really like this one more than the original. But, yeah, that's Blade Runner 2049. Then had to pick these two up when they get released. Top Gun on 4K and Days of Thunder. Love both of these movies. Uh, I can't tell you anything about the picture quality that they're, because uh, uh, I don't have a 4K TV, but definitely had to pick these up. Love Top Gun. Uh, the only thing bad about Days of Thunder is it didn't come with a Blu-ray version, but I just popped the Blu-ray. Uh, I had the Blu-ray for this one for a while, and I just popped it in the case with it. But Days of Thunder, Cold Trickle, 
grew up watching this movie. My dad had all the little miniature cars back in the day. Uh, just started drinking Mellow Yellow because of this movie. It's always a Mountain Dew fan growing up, but once this came out and started watching it, I converted over to Mellow Yellow for a little bit. Mellow Yellow. Mellow Yellow. That's the country coming out in me. All right, I think next is uh, all horror stuff. All right, like I said, the rest of this is just nothing but straight horror. And then, like I said, some figures. But, got yeah, quite a few DVDs here. First one picked up. I can't remember where I picked this one up at. But, uh, where did I pick this one up? I don't know. But that's Boogeyman. Um, the killer compilation. It's a documentary about horror movies. I've never seen it before. It was cheap, so I bought it. That's all can be said about that one. Picked this up, up in, uh. The rhythm section up in Gatlinburg is pretty cheap. I've heard decent things about this one, so I picked it up on DVD before I buy the Blu-ray of it. That's Castle Rock. Haven't watched it yet, but uh, it's a Stuart Gord movie. It's a Full Moon movie. Uh, Jeffrey Combs is in it. Uh, that guy looks creepy. That's all I can say about that one. Uh, I, I want to say I've seen this, but I don't remember anything about it. Uh, I know the premise is almost like Saw before Saw, but it's D. Snyder's Strange Land. Uh, it's the only horror movie he's ever came out with. I mean, look at the back of it right there with all those piercings and stuff with him actually in it. And I think he directed it, if I'm not mistaken. He either direct, yeah. He either wrote it or directed. I don't know. But I'm excited to check this one out again. That's uh, Strange Land. Then next up, Ghost in the Darkness, just an absolute great movie with Val Kilmer and Michael Douglas, Killer Lion. Uh, I believe they're they're building some bridges out in Africa. It's set in the early or late 1800s. The lion just fucks people up in it, but just a really good movie. The the soundtrack is really good to this too. Who did the music? I don't know, but uh, this would disappoint Chancellor One right here. A lot of crustiness going on in this DVD case. Lots of crustiness. I mean, both sides are like that. It's so flimsy. It's kind of like, uh, what is that one horror movie that I have? Uh, I don't know. But, yeah, a lot of crustiness with this one, but a great-ass movie. All right, a couple more DVDs to get through. I don't know anything about this. When I asked Paul Slasher Junkie when I picked this up, if he knew anything about it, he's never seen it, but it's called Pork Chop. I don't, if you've seen this movie before, let me know down, let me know down in the comments below what, what I'm in store for this one. Uh, Partying, Mayhem, and Gore, 80s style. And when did this come out? 2011, and it's pretty much to be set up like an 80s movie. But it's unrated, looks gory as hell, probably some titties in it, so right up my alley. Then another one I picked up for super cheap too, uh, it's a Showtime movie, I believe. The mask looks pretty cool in it. If you can see it right there. Uh, this one's called Hatchet Man. It was a slasher. Uh, when did this come out? Showtime Presents. Uh, 2004. So, this is probably garbage, but it was it was super cheap. Now I can get my money back from it from a case. Next up, we got some Bigfoot movies here. Uh, this is a Wild Owl, Raw, Raw and Extreme Alabama Sasquatch. I picked it up from the rhythm section up in uh, Gallenberg as well. Uh, let's see. What, get skunked, get high, get dead. That's the tagline for that one. So who knows? It's You got a Bigfoot slashing uh, a Boy Scout to pieces right there. So what needs to be said about that? Then we have one. I don't even know remember where I got this one. Bigfoot Wars. I mean, you can see my shirt. I'm I'm a huge Bigfoot fan, and any kind of Bigfoot movie, I'll give a chance to it. It may not be good, and I may end up selling it, but I'll give it at least one watch. But this one right here, out of all of the Bigfoot movies I've ever seen, this one takes the cake. This movie is fucking awesome, and that's Exists. I highly, highly recommend Even if you're not a Bigfoot, man, a Bigfoot fan, I definitely suggest picking this one up. It's a found footage movie. But it's done really, really well for a low-budget movie. And the Bigfoot scenes are done really, really well. Um, the ending's kind of... The ending's good. 
uh, but the everything leading up to the end is fucking awesome. Um, I bought, uh, we were talking, I think me and Jordan were talking about this one. And then I went out to McKay's and was able to find it. And then I think me and him watched, he watched it on Prime, maybe, or Voodoo. I don't know. But uh, if you're a Bigfoot fan, if you're a found footage fan, definitely check this out. Even if you're just a horror fan in general, this is probably the number one Bigfoot movie I've watched out of all of the Bigfoot movies I've, I've seen. But yeah, I highly, highly recommend Exist. If you haven't seen this one, definitely, definitely check it out. Find it some way stream it uh something like that but it's definitely worth it wish this would get a blu-ray release all right next up uh, we got emery's out of the horror section i've heard nothing but good things about altitude i was able to find it really cheap out of mckay's i believe but another creature feature that just been that's what happens in the summertime we just get on a huge creature feature kick and you'll see by the rest of this and there's quite a bit in here then found this out of mckay's too the next couple well uh, yeah the next three are from mckay's finds and these were like three dollars a piece but monster brawl i mean dave who's all in this one kevin nash is in this one lance hendrickson dave foley uh jimmy hart is in this movie you can see him right there next to kevin nash but evidently they set up monsters up against each other in wrestling matches haven't had a chance to watch it yet. It's probably not going to be good, but, you know, wrestling, horror movie, and on Blu-ray, it was cheap. I, I couldn't say no. And then this one, I probably, uh, this is more than likely going to be absolutely terrible, but, I had to, you know, I'll give it a shot. If not, I can get my $3 back, but that's Jersey Shore Massacre. Uh, I believe this was a screener copy to somewhere somebody because it gets the whole it's got the hole punched in it but uh yeah this is probably not gonna be good funny sexy and gory but most of all it's fun that's the tagline for jersey shore massacre Whew, bad 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 and an alien movie that i've never seen the fourth kind um uh, i really don't know anything about it i've never really heard anybody talk about it but uh we watched what alien movie was it we watched? I don't know if it's in here or not. Oh, Dark Skies the other. Me and Jordan watched Dark Skies the other day. And then I was at McKay's like the day or two after that and saw this. It was like 3 or $4. So I decided to pick it up. Um, I don't know. It's an alien abduction movie. They always tend to freak me out, but, you know, I got to watch it. And then next, picked up Quarantine. Uh, I haven't seen this movie since it first came out. We went back and watched Wreck 1 and 2. Those are absolute masterpieces. I know this is nowhere near as good as Wreck 1, but I want to see it just to compare it to it. Uh, this, the case is real janky. I think it's a rental copy, to be honest with you. It is a rental copy, but, you know, it was cheap. I want to compare it now to after watching Wreck 1 and 2 a couple times and just ab absolutely loving those. I'd like to watch this and compare it to it. I know it's not going to be nowhere near as good, but, you know, I'll give it a shot. And then uh, Jordan watched this one. This is put out by the same guy that did exist. It's called The Seventh Moon, another found footage movie. He said he enjoyed it. Uh, he was able to get it for super cheap and then found this rental copy for me. So excited to check it out. It's from the director of The Blair Witch Project. Oh, and that's, yeah, the director of that also did exist, so... You know, it looks pretty freaky. Uh, it has Amy Smart in it. I think it's set around Days of the Dead. Uh, and then demons come out or something like that. I don't know. Who the hell knows? If you've seen it, let me know. All right, next up, we got some creature features here. Uh, picked up Primeval. Haven't watched it yet. I uh, actually just found it earlier today. I had the DVD of it that was going to be in this update, but then I found the Blu-ray for cheap. Uh, watched Rogue. A couple weeks ago and just anything alligator crocodile anything like that i'm all in on it but yeah that's prime evil and then was able to pick this up off of a seller on facebook he does his own scans of movies and stuff like that but he put out alligator on blu-ray i mean this is pretty legit edition the picture quality looks good all that stuff he did alternate artwork on it uh as you can see even disc art on it 
uh, believe, you know, this was like an early 80s movie, I believe. Late 70s, early 80s. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't have the date on here. But I watched, uh, watched this one. It's it's pretty decent. It's a little dated, but still, still a fun creature feature to watch. I know uh, Cashin One, this is like his favorite movie of all time, so, or one of his favorite movies, or, or his number one creature feature. Hell, I don't know. I'm just maybe making up stuff. I know he really enjoys it. But yeah, it was fun. I liked it. And then next up from the same guy that did Crocodile, I picked up Alone in the Dark on Blu-ray. Uh, Craig, uh, Blues from the Basement. This is like his number one horror movie of all time other than Scream. I watched it. Uh, it's it's pretty good uh, for an early 80s slasher. I wish it would have shown more of the kills in it. The cast is amazing. Uh, it has Donald Pleasance. Uh, yeah, what's his, uh, what's his name? Jack Palance in it as well. Um, I wish it would have showed more of the kills. It takes a little bit for it to get going, but once it does, I mean, it, it goes good. Um, I don't know if, like, the it, I've always heard about this one, maybe because it was out of print. Um, but it, I'll keep it in the collection. If Screen Factory comes out with it, I probably won't upgrade it because. This is a scan copy, and it was it, it was like twenty five dollars shipped for this, and it's going to be pretty much impossible to resell this. So I'll probably just stick with this edition itself. The transfer looks really really good on this because he has he has a couple special features like some interviews and the trailer, and those look like absolute boo boo. But the movie transfer itself looks really good, and it sounds really good as well. Um, yeah, you got that picture. Right there, you have some inside artwork. He even did disc art on it. But I'm glad I finally got to see this one. I was maybe I had my hopes set way too high that this was going to be just like game changing. But it's it's your it's your average. Well, I don't, yeah, average eighty slasher. I just wish it would show more with the kills, a little bit more, more blood and all that stuff. A little bit more gory, in my opinion. Then picked up Shockma off of Ronin Flicks. It was, it's a long, for it being an 80s creature feature, it was a long one, 102 minutes. It's, and it kind of dragged at points. Uh, Killer Baboon starts killing people. I wish it would have shown more in the kills. Um, the aftermath of the kills, it was pretty gory, but eh, it was all right. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I may keep it. I don't know. But you, hardly, you don't see many uh, killer baboon movies or killer monkey movies, all that stuff. But it's a Code Red release. When did this come out? I don't know. I can't find it. But uh, the, the picture quality wasn't the best for this one. And Code Red's not known for their uh, picture quality. But, you know, it was it was a fun watch. Maybe just a one-time watch. Pick these next two up off of uh, Stinky Tuna as well. The Ritual loved this movie. Absolutely terrifying. Especially the one scene where they're in the woods and you see the hand come around the tree. Spooky as all hell. I, really, I enjoyed it. I know Jordan enjoyed this one. I think Paul was a fan of it as well. I think Chad was a little iffy about this one. But like I said, I, I really, really dug it. Uh, the ending is a little far-fetched, but in the creature, it's... I wish they just would have scaled back and shown less of the creature because when they did, it was more scary. But still, like I said, I popped this one in, watched about half of it just to make sure everything was good with it. Picture looks great on it. Sound sounds great. I think uh, all these uh, Stinky Tuna releases have Dolby, uh, Dolby sound to them. But the picture, like I said, the picture quality is there. And to have an actual physical release of this is even better as well. Then the next one, I sold my Fright Night still book, so I had to pick up Fright Night. And then he also did a Fright Night Part 2 on Blu-ray and their own separate discs as well. So never seen Fright Night 2. Looking forward to watching that. Fright Night's up there with Lost Boys as, as top vampire films out there. But this next one, I found this out at McKay's and was blown away with how good this one was. 
I knew nothing about this movie going into it. I've heard people talk about it, but I didn't know anything about the movie. And fucking amazing. The score is really good. The creatures in this movie are absolutely terrifying. I'm not a big Hellraiser fan, but like Jordan brought up, it's kind of like a mix between The Thing and Hellraiser with this one. Really, really good. I think this one's on Voodoo to rent or to buy on Voodoo. There's on there. If you can't find the physical copy, I know for a minute it was like 12, uh, 12 or $13 on Amazon. If you ever come across this one, like I said, if you're a The Thing fan or a Hellraiser fan, I highly, highly recommend this one. I'm not a big Hellraiser fan at all. I'm not. I don't have any of the movies. But this one is fucking crazy. And like I said, the creatures in this are terrifying. So if you ever see The Void, highly, highly recommend that one. And then I got one Arrow release, and that's Eating Alive. I found this out of McKay's for like $15. Never seen it. I know it has uh, Robert England in it. I think I had this a long time ago when I sold it, and, but never watched it. So picked it right back up. Uh, it's the first run of it because it has a booklet in it. Uh, let's see. I think everybody's seen the original or alternate artwork for this one. But yeah, that's Eating Alive. All right, right into the slip covers. Uh, let's see. I had the steel book to this one as well. Sold it. Was finally able to find a good looking slip for this one. And it's the Evil Dead remake. I put, let's see, I found the uh, director's cut or the unrated, the unrated version not too long ago, uh, but was able to find a slip for it for really cheap and in great condition. So happy to finally have that one. And then the next couple are movies I haven't seen yet, but I found them for pretty cheap. I got uh, Ready or Not. It was like $8 out of McKay's. And then The Hunt, it was like $10 out at uh, Game Exchange that I found today. Had the slip for it. So picked that one up. Look, really looking forward to checking this one. I've heard some pretty decent things about that one. Then I watched this. I'm kind of going back and giving Rob Zombie uh, a second chance on movies that I didn't like with him. Uh, Rewatched, picked up Lords of Salem a couple months ago. Rewatched it. Still wasn't a fan of it. But was able to find 31 uh, for like $7.00. I want to give it a second chance. It's based around Halloween. Doomhead is a badass character. Uh, I just want to give it a second chance. Like I said, it was $7. I'm a Rob Zombie fan. We're, we're, I'm going to give it a second chance. And then I picked up the New Kids out at uh, the Rhythm section up in Gatlinburg this past weekend. Been wanting to find it for a while. Has Aunt Becky in it. That's all I know about it. All right, got a couple of horror 4Ks here. Picked up the, whoa, easy. It's wanting to come out of there. Picked up the Invisible Man. I enjoyed this one. I had a good time with it. Uh, is it perfect? No. But is it fun? Yeah. I did like the mummy with Tom Cruise in it, but I guess this is part of Universal's new take on the old school monster movies. But I really enjoy, I like this one a whole lot more than the mummy. Uh, plus it's rated R, so... That's a plus. But I reckon if you can find it for under $10, I'd definitely say snag that one up. And then, like everybody else, had to pick up the Jaws 4K with that lenticular uh, box. But uh, the Blu-rays always look good. I heard the 4K just absolutely amazing. looks absolutely amazing as well. So this will probably be the first thing I pop in when I finally do pick up a 4K TV. But, yeah, not much in the lenticular. I mean, his teeth move. But, uh, yeah, I had to pick that up, like everybody else. That was a no-brainer. All right, getting into the boutique labels now. Got this from Ronin Flicks, and really, really enjoyed that. And this, three, two, one. All right, getting into the boutique labels now. Picked up Grizzly from uh, Ronin Flicks. I had a good time with this one. Super dated, but still a good time. Uh, the bear arm, if you've seen this movie, the arm of the bear is absolutely ridiculous. The ending is crazy as i'll get out to but i enjoyed this one it's a creature feature it's summertime uh but i really really enjoyed this one being a bear movie you don't get to see many of these so i'd recommend if you can find this one for like 20 dollars or so i recommend picking that one up 
picked up Idle Hands from Screen Factory. I mean, it's a 90s horror comedy. I enjoy it. It's it's probably not one of my favorites, but, you know, I'll keep it in the collection. It was, it's pretty decent. And then, let's see. Oh boy, let's let's talk about these. Cause the last time I talked about vinegar syndrome, that kind of sh shit just blew up. But uh, I got three of them here. This one doesn't have a plastic case around it, cause it's immediately getting sold. I tried watching this. I made it a little over halfway through and just couldn't watch it anymore. It's an anthology, but this movie is shoe, fucking shoe, and that's Night Train to Terror. Did not like this one at all. Just ridiculous stupid uh not good not good at all so that one's going into the cell pile for sure and then picked up blood games i did like this one uh i was afraid it was going to get a little rapey but it, it really didn't uh it set around like a baseball game at the beginning and then the girls get revenge on the guys but uh blood games it's a keeper uh for me and then i haven't had time to check this one out but i picked it up off of a facebook I uh, believe in that's Dolly Dearest, just a killer doll movie. I think it's it's a based in Mexico or something like that, or a shot in Mexico. I don't know, but it's a killer doll, so I had to pick it up, got it with the slip. And that's it. That's it for the movies. All right, next up, we're gonna show off some of the figure. Well, they're more statues than figures this time around, but this is my first ever Kota Bakui, Kota Bakui, I don't know, Kota. Fuck, I don't know how to say it, but it's a Japanese, but they make like little, I don't know if it's ceramic. I think it's like a, a dense PVC, but this is a Friday 13th part three. Cut up a cute, ah, fuck, I'm not even gonna try to say it anymore. I'll, I'll put like what it said, oh, the name of the company, like on the video or something. But this is a part three Jason statue that they did. I picked this up this past weekend up in Gatlinburg. I've been eyeing it for a while. It's it's this piece is about three years old. I think it came out like three years ago, but it looks really really good. I don't know if the video can actually do it really good justice, but just a detail on it. it's awesome. It's got he's got a little hunchback to him. He's got a cut on the hand right there, a cut on the leg. Um, it came with different arm accessories. All you do because he's got the machete in right now. But you just pop his arm off right there. Put this one in. Let's see if I can do this without breaking it. There it goes. And this is the other accessory he comes with. He comes with an axe for him to hold. But, you know, it's Jason. He's got to have a machete. So, oh, come on. But really stoked about having this piece. They have a Freddy as well. And I think they've done a, uh, a Pennywise in this so really stoked to have this in the collection but yeah his new home is right up here the only thing i don't like about it is he kind of leans forward a little bit so it makes you nervous but it's got that thick neck to him it's got the hunchback so looks perfectly like a part three jason all right next piece you saw i made a video on this one if you didn't see it but this statue right here in the middle it's the hcg 78 Michael Myers. It's not the limited one. Uh, well, it is pretty limited because, let's see, I think there's only, I'm looking at the box while I'm talking to you. There's only 750 made of this version. And then I think Paul has the other version that just came with a little Halloween standee with it. And I think it was even more limited. But there you get a little detail in the mask. And it's all ceramic. He's He's a beast. He's heavy. But like I said, I made a video on it. If you want to, go check it out. But yeah, really, really stoked about that one. Had to put him up there with the other two 78 Myers. And then I think it was today that Sideshow came out and that they're putting out a 1-6 scale Michael Myers along with Trick or Treat Studios is putting out one as well. So yeah, going to be adding quite a bit to the Halloween shelf this year. All right, next up, uh, I don't know if I've shown all three of these off in a video. I know I've done an unboxing for one of them, but uh, I know I think I showed off the threes in my last toy hunting video, but I've gotten on a, a Jordan shoes kick here lately for the past couple months, and I don't think I've shown them all off, but the 
first pair I'm going to show you, I bought the... What the hell did I get them on my hand? These are the Motorsport 4s that I bought. Really, really love these. They look really good. Uh, we've been watching The Last Dance of the past couple nights, and that, that documentary is absolutely amazing. And watching that has made me want to buy more Jordans already. But this is the first pair that I have right here. These are the Motorsport 4s, like I said. White with the black and the blue look freaking sick. Love those. And then I've got the Motorsport alternates as well. Just color-wise, just shifted different from the other Motorsports with the all-black look, with the blue and the gray and the white. Really, really love those. But probably my favorite pair that I have now and more of what I want to get are the threes. And I've got the Unite Red threes. Really love these shoes. These shoes are a little bit more comfortable than the fours. The only thing that I don't like about the fours is this little tab right here on the back. Uh, it will fuck your ankle, the backside of your ankle up really good. And the fours, I mean, the threes don't have that tab, but I just love the look of the threes, the, the fours and the threes. So really looking for the black cement threes that's probably the next pair i want the unc threes are really sick and then they came out with a uh, royalty i think they're called the royalty blues they're like these but wherever red is it's blue on those um but like i said the next pair i buy is probably going to be another pair of threes but these are fa my favorite ones that i have right now they're just super super comfortable uh the fours are comfortable as well but like i said that that back part will, will fuck up your ankle if you're not careful. But yeah, really, really love these. Super comfy and super fresh, super clean. And that is it. That is all of everything for this update. Like I said, this is going to be a longer video. So if you stuck around to this point, I appreciate it big time. If you would, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know about the movies that I picked up. What do you think about Jordans? What do you think about the statues that I picked up? All that good shit. Uh, ring the little notification bell for whenever we put out videos on the channel. Um, they're few and far between nowadays, but oh well. It's it's YouTube. Who gives a shit? But anyways, like always, thumbs up, comment. I don't know what else you need to do, but until next time, we out.